uh, maybe people that are returning to the game, maybe people that are really coming out of the, the wet works and really getting uh, things going. But uh, here you have a nice, a nice team shot. Uh, we have some real nice high definition cameras and uh, you know, you get a nice angle of the land. You get to see what people are working with here. And uh, really, man, it, this is going to be a great weekend. I know we're just starting, but uh, I'm excited already. Yeah, man, this, the way they got things set up, as you can see, they got a Team 1 cam and a Team 2 cam. Mm -hmm. You know, they have their backs to each other. But the, the way they got the cam set up was actually quite, quite nice. Um, and from what I'm understanding, like I said before, the next two teams are going to be radioactive and the blue, and the blue team. Mm -hmm. So... On oh. this, on the uh, live cam itself, we have Snake Solace from Radioactive, and we have Dillionaire, Dillion, Dillionaire. Dillion wow. One from uh, the blue team. It, one team that we didn't we didn't mention uh, was Alumni's team, um, which oh that man. that is a team oh that uh, you know you've got some real old school talent in there, and they're they're looking to make a solid comeback. And you know what? I, the thing I think uh, as far as like Hanzoku goes. Mm -hmm. um, when Alumni was at Chicago, yeah, and he was playing in an All Star game, he oh, was yeah. like, "Okay, I need to get back into this." Oh, yeah, so yeah. he's he's been getting down. We, I've seen a couple of streams, and he's just been tearing it up, just just doing things <laughs> I have never seen. He's he's a player that uh, really utilizes the hard light shield. Uh, you know, you notice um, a lot of these players they they kind of define. Uh, one uh, ordinance and really become really solid with it. Um, you know, whether it's a power up or an ordinance, but I've seen alumni do some nerdy, nerdy and dirty things with the... Uh, nerdy and dirty yeah. things. Nerdy. <laughs> I'm going to steal that just to let you know. <laughs> but I'm also hearing that he's going to um, have his uh, brother Hoaxer with him. Yeah, he will. How does Hoaxer play? I've never seen Hoaxer play, like, at um, all. From, from, see, I, I met them recently. Uh, from what I understand, Hoaxer is, is, was a free-for-all player, but he... You know, having that brother uh, combination, and, and they they literally play next to each other all the time. They've got good chemistry. Um, I think that they are definitely going to be a team uh, to not not really mess with. They've got uh, Captain Anarchy and Dursky, who are solid players as well. Um, I'm sorry. Spent a lot I'm of sorry. time with this team. I'm sorry. You said Dursky and Captain Anarchy is also joining these guys. Oh yeah, yeah. What have I been missing? So. <laughs> wow. So that could also be another team that can come out of nowhere and come for Admirals too. Then. Is that? Oh, do you think yeah, that? yeah, and I mean they've been uh, they they have a like late night schedule. Uh, you know my sleep schedule has been all over the place with the streaming and such, but uh, they they are definitely a late night squad. So I, I do tune in and watch uh, the way that they they play, and they've got a lot of the the past Halo experience along with some good teamwork. So I think um, you know over the next few weeks as we start really to get towards these uh, bigger events, I think that there's going to be <laughs> um, some really sick. Yeah, there's, there seems to be a lot of team, a lot of sick teams, and a lot of people coming back. I'm, I would actually like to see like some legends like mm -hmm. just come in just like, like at least it, once, like yeah. strong side. Well, there has been talk. I don't know if it's really happening, but the old carbon. Um, you know, there's been a little bit of rumor going on if that's going to reassemble. But you know, we, they may or may not. And and uh, we've seen Gandhi come back, and he's been he's been playing. He you know he started first few days. He was a little off balance. Didn't know what's going on, but. He's starting to get there, man. His shot's starting to get a little better. He's starting to understand the maps and how to really move around. So, I mean. And actually, you know what? I actually want to shout out Gandhi yeah. because I actually watched one of his streams. Uh -huh. That is the funniest dude <laughs> I have ever, like, yeah. seen play he, Halo in my life. He's like, real I, real with like, it. Like, I can sit there and play Halo myself and not focus because I can hear him yelling, mm -hmm. like, just ridiculous stuff out of the background. It's He's... He's also he's a funny dude. He's also like a down from what I hear. He's a down to earth dude too. Oh, for he, he's just been around for a while, you know. So it's certain things I would, uh, you know, may, maybe uh, frustrate a, a new streamer or a new player. Um, you know, to him they don't really matter because he knows that he's just online. He's just playing for fun, and that's really what it comes down to. So I mean, that, that's what you got to keep in mind. From what I'm seeing here, we're starting to get things set up. Um, it looks like it is going to be Team Slayer Haven. So it looks like I wasn't wrong. Again, <laughs> no, no, you're not, Black's so, never wrong. He's always he's right on. No, 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 I'm not even gonna lie. But while we get starting to keep things getting set up, we're gonna go ahead and take a commercial. And when we get back, we're gonna get this game started for you guys. All right? I'm excited.
And it looks like we're back from commercial. We're getting this game started on Team Slayer on Haven. We got both teams going to the middle, trying to start off a war already. Let's get, it's starting to get things interesting, but it looks like Dillionaire is the first one to go down. Yeah, we're, we're right on board with Dillionaire, and uh, they made that push to the center, and it just looks like a little bit of hesitation off the start, you know? You, you really can notice from uh, Team where they want to go and make these pushes, so. Um, I don't know. I just I hope that they can uh, kind of find their ground and, and be able to really just start start getting some confidence in this. Yeah, it looks like uh, right now it's only it's only it's five one, so it's just the beginning of the game. Mm -hmm. But it looks like Snake Solace has a sniper, from what I'm understanding, and he's keeping an eye on Blue Street right now. So let's see if things can get a little bit more interesting in the last game. And then we got, as you can see, D on there right there getting the headshot for the kill and he's nice looking at Solace right now trying to get him taken out oh yeah and uh you know you, you see blue team here they're, they're kind of if you will this this area is I kind of consider the floor you have these these two plats and these two landings where you can really get some nice height advantage um so they kind of need to allow each one of them to kind of hold a position and set up rather than trying to everybody you know scramble around and try and get a shot yep. um on each person because what's that's, that's going to allow you that's going to cause is uh, you're going to be caught off guard, caught off position, and, and kind of focusing on on things that you may not need to. So. And then, as you can see, Dean just got taken out again. But it looked like oh, he got Snake stop Solstice sleeping. He caught him. And he's going, and he's in another one-on-one -on -one battle right now. Let's see if he can take over this battle as well. Yeah. And unfortunately, he gets taken down. He, he had the advantage there, maybe uh, caught off guard, a little hesitation, and uh, was it, the red team was able to flip that, that 1v1 right there and uh, put him down. They've got some team shots on, on a couple kills, but they, it doesn't look like they're able to clean him up. Right now, um, Dillionaire really needed to push down Red Street right there and allow his teammates to hold top center while he's able to uh, flank around and get, get some new angles and maybe clean up some kills. Yeah, if they, if they look like they're trying to stick together as a team, but it's also like working to their disadvantage as well. It's, as you can see, with D on there getting the killjoy from a beat down just now. So, and, and th this is kind of what I was talking about, uh, you know, through that first series. Is it kind of looks like they're focusing on on just sticking together too much, and they really need to just kind of uh, play their own game a little bit, allow themselves to move around the map and, and feel a little more free, rather than they're they're just tied to each other. And that's how it has to be, you know. Um, and right, saw, yeah. right now the score is 22-10. They're trying their best to stick together right now, and it's, it doesn't seem to be working out very well for them. It's, I mean, down 10 kills is definitely a big thing to come back from, but early on in a game like this, it is definitely possible, and it's all, again, about that momentum and holding the uh, the height control and, and really just um, getting off the bottom of the map and just being in the right spots. But, um, you know, we saw for a moment there, we saw how blue team, they had an opportunity to set up top middle and they were a little hesitant of it, so. I'm not, not really sure what he was trying to. And it looks, if we go over to so so Snake Solstice right now, he seems to be stalking his prey. If we can go ahead and take a look at this guy real quick. He seems to be stalking the middle and he's dropped down to the bottom trying to Get figure things out, seeing yeah. where his teammates are right now. But he, he seems to be living up to his name, the name Snake, <laughs> as it is anyway. He seems to be slithering around. Oh, he's, he's definitely slithering. And as you can see, he's getting shots in on Dillionaire. He, and then turns his attention to another player. Mm -hmm. He seems to be more of a support person. Yeah, and you know, this is in order. It, it really it, it comes down to the teams that you're playing and kind of the roles that uh, needed to be filled. So he he was out there trying to hold a little top control and just put a couple good shots. He caught a couple players off guard and, and did some damage. And that's sometimes that's all you really need to do. As you can see right now, he's holding the top middle, like I said, slithering around there trying to make sure nobody comes from any weird directions where he gets caught off guard. And, uh, you know, blue team just not really challenging for the up top, for the power position, for the control. It kind of looks like they're just trying to escape and, and, and um, come up another direction, which, which can work. But uh, if you don't have that established control, it can be very difficult to pull it off without being noticed. That's so. absolutely correct. The game is still relatively close, but it looks like they're starting to pull away now. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Just controlling things. Yeah. 
on both blue landing and red landing. So he's just controlling the top middle as it goes. That was a good play by him. He's going to be able to let the, the kill go, but now it's up to him to be able to get the cleanup on it. Um, you know, he's making smart, smart uh, plays by not dropping down there. By being alone, he would have cut off himself. And now he's kind of had enough of it. He needs to get this kill and, and kind of um, move on with the rest of the game. So you see him spawning there with a teammate, and they're going to maybe be able to clean up that with spots in there top mid. Uh, it looks like he got the kill there on Digging there. Yep. Digging there was caught sleeping. Can he get the, the next kill here? Oh, almost. Uh, he was one shot he's off. He's one shot he, right now. He's got almost no ammo either, so he's going to be scram He's going to be slithering around for oh, that he, ammo. And he found some. Oh, he did. <laughs> you know, I think a smart player here is uh, if you were to either push top center, or, you know, you can also push that street and, and reset up from Mohawk. I think um, a good way to run down this map is, is – um, to just kind of come off a ramp and float up to top, top Mohawk and, and be now, able to just control the map. Now, now, with them being down 10, is there some type of a strategy that they can try to pull off to try to come back and take the game? The, the biggest thing you got to do is slow this game down. If you can start taking the right routes, that's huge. It, um, a game can get very frustrating and very difficult if you're not maneuvering them around the map, uh, one, as a team, and two, correctly in general. So. Um, Blue team's got to gotta just be able to slow down and really get some control. They need to get like a, a Mohawk and they need to, you know, maybe get two players down and then and be able to uh, make a play off it quickly. Yeah. They, I, I know exactly what you mean on this part, but it seems like they're, they're trying their best to try to keep things close, but it looks like mm -hmm. uh, and it, Snake Squad is pulling away here. Yeah, they are. And, that, and that's something I, I wanted to point out about the blue team is they, they definitely have a lot of heart for this game, and, and I got a lot of respect for them. So for them to come out here and, and have uh, a close game like this, um, you know, a lot a lot to them. Look at, Just, look at Snake now. Yeah. He, like I said, he's a slithering son of a oh, gun here. He is. A little bit un, unaware from blue team, but that right there was, it was uh, blue very, team. Very, very yeah. impressive. And he gets the double kill. Yeah, able to get the double. Is he able to get the cleanup here? He was able to get the double kill on that last on that last play there, being all sneaky and whatnot. Mm -hmm. you, you sly devil! Again, meeting up with his team though, and able to you know he didn't chase that kill, and that's a really smart play. And look at this, he's able to get a nice team shot and uh, utilize that to just get. They only need one more kill here, yeah. so there and, it is. and Snake is going to get that last kill there for Radioactive to get the win. So right now it looks like Radioactive is telling everybody, "Welcome to the new age here." <laughs> Getting everything started with a 50 wow, to 33 ATL win. Red, did you see that? I'm, I want to see these stats here. I did not One see One player the stats. had uh, 24 kills. Let's go ahead and check these stats out to see what we're looking at. My, my, okay. Well, 24 kills is. You know, you, you know, know who that is? That's Big Daddy Jay. That's the guy I was telling you about. Stop it. Yep. Jay does that? Uh, he does work. He's t he's the tall. He's really tall. I mean, uh, uh, I don't know if that oh, affects. Also, he his does work because he's tall. That's. that's uh, you know, that's I don't know. I guess that's a reasonable. The height advantage, able to see down on the screen, you know. Yeah, I don't you, know. Might, you might have a point, so. but he's going plus 16, as it is. So being the the ultimate slayer on his team right now, making sure they stayed on top of that game. But um, radioactive is has, has really got this thing going right now with making sure they got their kills right. Yeah, you see, and it seems you see like Big Daddy J there at the end. Yeah, the height advantage. Yeah, but it looks like at the, that whole game, I didn't see, I really didn't see Radioactive pick up power weapons that much. Mm -hmm. So they really relied on the on the, the, team on the BR and the yeah. teamwork. Yeah. And they were able to out BR everyone. So, but we're going to get game two started pretty soon right after this commercial break. So uh, stay tuned.
And we're back. We're going to get this next game started on a drift. It's going to be capture the flag. Radioactive taking in the first game, 50 to 33, with Big Daddy J going 24 and 8, being the MVP of the team, as far as the Slayer side goes. Mm -hmm. So, what would they need to do in order to get to bounce back? To, for blue team to bounce back. Yeah, um, you know, a drift. Uh, it can be an easy a, run, a, a game that's run quick, run efficiently. But then it can also be a game that, that takes out, uh, takes a long time, and it really depends on how the teams are moving. So, if uh, if blue team can can utilize um, moving around the map correctly and just stick together and, and uh, have teamwork that they you know an awareness that they kind of were lacking in that last game, mm -hmm. we might be able to see a, a, a close game here. So, did, would you have to say they have to keep Big Daddy under control as far as? Oh yeah, I think I think you got to keep Big Daddy under control. What would be the best way to do that? Would you say? Uh, you just don't get don't don't get caught alone, you know. <laughs> That's actually the best, probably the best strategy for that, right there. So we're getting ready. It seems like we're going to get this game started pretty soon. They got everything set up. I wonder if we can bring up the chat here. I want to see what people are, are saying. Uh, there we go. Oh, we got skeptical in the chat. I see, I see a lot of people I know. So I mean, appreciate everybody tuning in. Yeah, I'm, I, we're having a, I'm having a lot of fun. Um, yeah, so. yeah. I'm, I'm excited for this. Oh, Kitten, Legend. I see a lot of everybody's here, man. Everybody came out. As you can see, we're back on board with Snake's Solstice. <laughs> this is this is a map he could be slithering around. So, I mean, if this, you're looking This is it. an ultimate slithering map. Oh. I've, I've actually found that out the hard way yesterday. <laughs> yeah? This could, be a, this could be a really good map for Snake to really... Get control of him. You see, he got the rockets, but actually nice missed on the run. shot. That's all right. He, he stayed, got out he of there. Stayed alive, and that's what's big. And that's um, what—that's pretty much what matters: is being able to stay alive yep. for your team. Now, I'm, I'm a little surprised. I, if I were if I were in that position, you saw that sniper was up. I kind of would have waited there and, and allowed uh, to kind of maybe cover it for a teammate or, you know, coordinate that. And uh, you guys would have had more power weapons and a little more control. But he does get a nice flank here and able to pick up the double kill. Um, so we'll see if they're able to capitalize on that. Can yeah, that first th rocket kill he got was kind of sneaky, uh, oh, but he also pulled off the double. Get this. He is putting up in that. work and then picks up another power weapon he tries to anyway before mm -hmm. he gets put down. I, I almost saw a Brazilian coming. I didn't know if that was going to happen or not, but he got killed before it could actually happen. That could have been a dirty play. It could have been a really dirty play. So he's coming off the respawn here, just trying to figure out what's going on in the middle of the map. Could but it looks like right now both teams have the flag, mm -hmm. which is going to make it really, really interesting to see who dropped the flag first to get that first flag cap. This is uh, this is where it comes down to, uh, you know, depending on if you get that flag all the way back, is somebody running with this guy right now? You, you know what I mean? It, it takes a lot of coordination to get these flags around the map. And as you can see, he's caught alone. And, so that, and somebody just cut off the flag <laughs> carrier's head just now. It was not. It was not nice. Oh no! But you know, uh, I think that was phenomenal. There, who was able to get the shot and then pick up the flag, keep it alive. They're able to keep this flag alive, but they are they're dying really quick. They're not able to get another kill. So. This may turn into a cap. Oh, it looks like both flags returned. Yeah, but it looks like it's a, a stalemate right now in the early going. But uh, we can see. Let's just see who gets the first flag cap. Because whoever Ooh. gets that first flag cap, I believe that's where the, mo the momentum will go. It, it very well uh, can. Um, yeah. It, once you catch momentum on this map, it's very difficult to escape. Um. And Solstice just getting <laughs> a snapshot out of yeah. nowhere. My goodness. He's taking things into his own hands right now with the sniper rifle. Able to clean up the one shot there. Good job doing that as well, but he has grenades getting thrown at him. Let's see if he can back out and survive here. Oh, nice body shot. That that shot was huge and you know, it kinda uh, puts a little scare and keeps the his opponent shot off. Yeah, but he found the opponent and uh, cleaned up his, his own shot, getting the yeah. one shot and he right now he's on a killing spree. Somebody better get the sniper rifle out of his hands before he keeps going here. Yeah, he's got he's got one sniper shot left. Um, he really just needs, and he was the only person in their base, so it's it was a smart play. Um, maybe could have got a pull there, but if he felt he was alone or um, the numbers weren't right, you know, it, it was smart to just stay alive. And if we can go over to Dig on there real quick, it seems like he has the rocket launchers himself. Yeah, we'll see what he's doing. We're trying to we're trying to get Dig in there on the screen here. 
Sorry, he, they've got a flagpole here with uh, Snake. But again, he's alone. He's pretty much waiting for a team uh, a teammate to make it to uh, to him to be able to escort him. Otherwise, he's going to be running into problems like yeah, that. Yeah, just like that right mm -hmm. there. And oh, not sure with the ultimate team, disrespect yeah. there with the teabagging. Tea oh, my just goodness. A I'm not sure. That's that, is, that is just not cool. Yeah. Let's see how, how Snake could take control of that right there. There's a three down on blue team. That's going to allow for uh, Snake and his team to really push in here. And, uh, well, they have the opportunity. But a lot of the times what happens is um, teams um, spawn behind their flag area. Um, so you may kill them, but then you're going to have to slay them again if you want to uh, be able to get a pull. And right now we have Silas back in the game. Right now it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. A lot of power weapons just, on the floor there. Right, and he just picked up a sniper rifle. Let's see what he can, if he can do dirty and nerdy things <laughs> with this. He's got very little shields right now. He's just going to kind of have to wait, stay back, just wait for that shield to go up because nothing's uh, more Nothing. disappointing than picking that up and losing it right away. So. And oh, wow, with nice the sniper shot. kill across the way, mm -hmm. but also up, getting taken out at the same time, mm -hmm. trying to be a little too greedy with it. A little but that bit. was a nice, nice skill he pulled off just now. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And uh, you know, with a little bit, a little bit of patience, could turn that into a nice double. And it seems like his team also has the flag right now, so, so they're trying to bring it back. They get, they're going over to him to make sure he has all the support he needs. They're trying to get that first flag cap. Yeah. But um, after, I, I, since I do see a really good capture the flag game, and it's been almost. Seven, six, almost seven minutes right now without a flag cap. Yeah, it looks like they're about to get one here. Uh, you know, blue team did make it to the opponent flag, but again, they were on the floor. They weren't. They weren't prepared. It did not look like they were ready for that flag to come through the tunnel. Now, from what from what I saw at the beginning of the game, they were they real they were really making pushes to try to get to their flag as well. Do you yeah. think they need to go back to that strategy and um, try to push together as a squad, or yeah, just try to separate everybody? You definitely want to, I mean, there's times that you can coordinate a push to, uh, you know, meet up with somebody at their flag for, uh, for say, and then there's times that you want to kind of stick together and hold hands, and uh, I don't know, and there's, uh, as well as there's times you need to come back to your flag, there's times you need to be pushing over, so it's not just one game style that's going to really win you this, it's uh, just making individual smart plays. And as you can see, with Radioactive getting that first flag cap, let's see if they can keep the momentum going. I'm trying to get a second one right away. Or would the blue team just come out of nowhere? Yeah, I mean, uh, you, you, saw off that, you saw off that kill cam there that uh, blue team did have uh, power weapons, but if you don't push with it correctly, and uh, you can lose them very easily. And, and, and this is the part on on, uh, on a drift to where you kind of need to get set up, be ready to maybe get an angle on the flag, be ready to make that push in, but not go until everybody is, is ready to swoop in from all angles. And that's, that's one thing that a lot of players uh, tend to lack on a drift. And uh, that's definitely something you'll be seeing all weekend long. Yeah, that's, that'll be a good thing for, for uh, anybody who has this kind of strategy. But as you can see, they're already getting the second flag cap. So the momentum is on their side right now after getting that first one. Mm -hmm. huh, missing the flag, it was able to get it. Uh, almost went down, but it don't know if that really would have mattered. He had enough players yeah, there to really cap exactly. it. Exactly. But uh, it is always kind of funny to see somebody dancing around like that. Yeah. So let's see if they can go ahead and get this last flag cap. This, that right there, being able to walk right through the center, kind of uncontested, kind of just gives uh, gives you a sign that they're not, you know, blue team is not in the right positions, not ready to make to stop these pushes. And, and using the combination of the grenade and the DMR has greatly favored Snake here as he grabs a flag uncontested. There is no one around. Blue team is nowhere around their flag. Here comes one guy now Ooh, and actually that. puts down Snake. Yeah. I mean, the, we've seen it, I've seen it a lot, uh, you know, I've been putting a lot of time in, but uh, even in competition play and, and online, and just being able to have a, that pistol with the flag now is actually gives you a really deadly combination. You don't, you definitely are at a slight disadvantage, but you can definitely pull it off. And, uh, you know, the flag is a one-hit kill. So uh, with that combo and having just a nice pistol, um, really get some dirty plays going. Yeah, you sure can. And I just saw a Snake missing the melee there. Gonna, yeah, I just like see what people are saying in the chat. But it looks like uh, Snake is going top middle again. They're 
all pushing towards the flag, it seems like. Mm -hmm. And Snake has picked up another sniper rifle for the love of God. I don't think things are going to get good for the Reds, for the like, blue team here. Yeah, he, was, he wasn't able to hit that shot right there, but he was able to back up and just kind of stay alive. And he did die there, but he did have the help from the teammate Rocket. So. Yeah, right. You know, that's that's something that's huge, is just being able to stay alive with those power weapons for as long as you can. Yeah, and so with them being up two with them being up two zero, do you see them taking this or do you see something falling apart to where act or to where the blue team can um, to Again, anything can happen. That was a nice out DMR there by Dillionaire. He is not ready to give this up just yet. No, he's not. But um, you know, this a, a big thing about Halo Four is it's so team oriented. You know, you can have one player who's truly going off, but if the, if the whole team is slacking and not communicating together, it's very difficult to execute um, a win and let alone a flag cap. So um, it's really it's really going to come down. Uh, I, I I think Red Team's going to go ahead and walk off with this one, but. Uh, We'll see if blue team has a little resistance. And Snake is also following his his teammate there, making sure he gets the help that he needs. Yeah. The help that he needs and doesn't get gets very little con con contest as possible. But it looks like they're getting ready to get this third flag cap here. They're not being contested at all whatsoever. But it seems like somebody just sniped a flag carrier from across the way before him, him being able to cap the flag. And actually, the flag just got returned. Wow, I just did not. I, I did not see that one coming. That was actually pretty good yeah, that's a, on that's, their part. It's a, a big break for Blue. No kidding. So they actually do try to give themselves a chance to get their own flag cap. So they've they've got they, five minutes to kind of at least get these first two and get on the board to get things going. Right. But so let's see if they can pull something out of their hats here to try to get a flag cap or two going so they can make this a more interesting game for you viewers out there. And Snake is, and another teammate just double the team Dillionaire just making sure he doesn't cause any sort of a ruckus. And right now, Solstice is on the flag right now, carrying it, being very slithery. Is that, is that Gandhi in the chat right there? I think I just saw Gandhi like come up out of nowhere. He's, I mean, he's here to support. He's here to watch. Yeah, he's, he's a good guy. Yeah. And it looks like Drake there just picked up some rockets. As we see right now that Solstice did drop the flag, but they still have, they still are able to get the, their own flag back. So everything seems to be according, going according to plan to radioactive right now. Yeah, they've, I mean, they've, all they got to do now is just kind of run down the clock and, uh, they can play a real strong defensive play style. And, uh, you know, uh, depending on what team you're on, unfortunately, like, this can or can not work in your favor, you know. Uh, it can kind of cause the game to slow down a little bit. But in in reality, all they kind of have to do is just keep getting kills and not allow Blue Team to get into their base. Yep, and with Snake's helping keeping the pressure up as far as getting kills go and trying to get that flag. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they're not. They just want to keep the pressure up and try to keep them from you know, getting their own flag out. But it looks like Snake is getting ready to get chased down, and I think he knows it. Gandhi in the chat saying that the 06 car Carbon will be getting on at 8 p.m. Um, that that may be something that we have to look for at another uh, AGL event coming up. Man, that's from, if those rumors are true, that would be really, really interesting. And we can see Snake Solstice taking out another guy, just making it look easy right now. So it looks like they're just going to run down the clock and get as many kills as possible under their belt. Yeah. Or maybe not. They actually have a teammate that has I, the I, flag right now. It looks like it's Drake that has the flag right now. And I think they want to kind of end this and, and, and if they can. Oh, nice stop there. But uh, And that's that flag that yeah, I was that talking flag, about. That's yeah. that flag punch to the face. Deadly. That's just <laughs> that's just unfair at times. Yeah. I know I know the red team kind of wants to end this. They kind of want to get on to the next one. They don't really want to utilize a lot of their energy in these early games like this um, if they feel that they've easily got to win. Yeah, exactly, because like that. that could really blow back in their face on the, on the next couple of games, and they can actually come back. They can actually lose it if they use all their energy here. So as you can see, the, the flag just got returned back. As Snake... Snake and World Famous. Mm -hmm. And again, if, if I were a red team right now, they've kind of 
tried to make a couple pulls and, and they just haven't been successful on this last pull. I think, uh, you know, you can kind of just slow down a little bit, get, get a little composure, kind of just, uh, they've got the 2-0 lead. And, and if they continue to push in these situations and, and keep falling apart, um, that can allow for Blue to make a last second comeback, which could be huge. So right now, as you can see, I, I believe they only have a minute and a half left, and so they don't, they really don't have to go for the flag cap if they don't want to. But it seems like two people are pushing up on Snake right now, and he got a grenade kill from the grave. Wow. He's trying to just keep people back right now. He doesn't want them touching their flag at all. Oh, no way. That's the last thing you want right now is a, you know, a minute, uh, you know, a little over a minute left for some some crazy for, comeback. For to, yeah, for something yep. to happen and for them to have some, a little bit of momentum because that little bit can turn into a lot. Oh, very easily. So right now they have a minute left. They don't really have to cap the flag if they don't want to, but they're going to stick around in the attic. Snake turns around, tries to melee someone, but misses it. And then Dillionaire gets, actually gets brought down with the assist by Snakes. So it looks like they've been pushed they're pushing into their base really hard. Just trying to keep him pinned back, it looks like. Yeah, they just don't want to give him any room to move. And you know, blue team right there able to get the flag out, so this is uh this is their last chance at this right here. Yep. But it looks Dillionaire caught off guard, yep. a nice a nice flank from a slithering snake there. Yeah, he's doing he's doing he's living up to his name right now, sneaking around on people and getting another hit shot before he gets taken out himself. Excellent shots there. But well, it looks like there's about 10 seconds left to the match before it's over with. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's going to be radioactive once again with the 2-0 to zero flat cap right there. Now, we still have a game three, so. Yeah, but we still do have a game three. Um, it looks like it's going to be extraction. Our, but uh, let's take a look at the stats real fast. Let's oh, see how, sure. it, how it just got yeah. utterly disgusting because it looks like Big Daddy J once again is on top. So it looks like, like I said, Big Daddy getting 20, going 29 and 15. And then Drake himself going 26 and 14. So those two guys were really, really slaying. And then Snakes going 20 and 14 and World Famous 18 and 18. But it seems like from what I'm looking at here on as far as Radioactive goes, it's a lot of, it's really, really even as far as assists go. Yeah, I mean, you see a lot of assists like that. You, that just uh, tells you that, you know, maybe the the kills are getting cleaned up that there's a lot of teamwork going on and, and that's a that's always a good thing so yeah that's always that's always a good thing so that's really going to help you guys out help a person out as far as like objectives goes getting a lot of assists mm -hmm. but it looks like the third game is about to come up pretty soon it's going to be extraction if yeah. i'm not mistaken on dispatch i think uh we're going to let Heinz get in on, on this game. From what I'm understanding, yes, my producers are now telling me that <laughs> Heinz is coming in. So That's all right. I, I know you guys at home want to see Heinz, so I'm going to let Yeah, him everybody wants to in. see a bottle of ketchup every now and again, so it's it's totally fine. But um, as we get the third game set up, I'm still looking at these stats, and it's still pretty unbelievable right now. So we're going to have an, a really quick switch out. Fizz is going to leave for a little bit. But it looks like Heinz is lurking behind me, coming in to the camera with me. Just wait for this guy to put on his headset. What's going on, man? How's it going? It's it's going. It's going quite well. So what's going on in this series? Right now, we have Radioactive up 2-0. They won the first game 50-33 in Slayer on Haven. Okay. This last game just now uh, was a drift CTF. They took the game 2-0. They just let the clock wind so down. So let the clock run out. So, so right. right now it seems everything seems to be going radioactive way right now. But before we get into this third game, what is going on? What is up with you? What have you been up to? Let the people know what's going on, man. I've just been looking at some of the talent out there. There's actually some pretty good players here. Um, I think the two teams that we need to look out for later in tournament are Ultimate and Faded. Also Adventure Time made it to Winners 3, I think. I think they'll be pretty good. So I mean, let's see what happens here with Radioactive too. Do you happen to do you happen to see any other sleepers out there that people might be sleeping on right now? Um, maybe Adventure Time. I mean, other than that, it's been just getting to know everybody, and, like seeing what's going on. But it looks like we're about to get Game Three started right now. So you look over at the blue team right now, trying to trying to get focused for this third game. It looks like it's going to be Extraction 
on dispatch. So let's go ahead and get this game stuck as we're on board with Snake Solstice. And this is the team that's up to zero, right? This, yes, yes, sir. Okay. This is, as they were, and Snakes gets taken out pretty quickly, which is pretty. I mean, he's pretty different. hesitant to go for that overshot. He either like, straight bolt for it or don't even go for it at all. They kind of just like hesitated and got him killed. Yeah, and it, it also got the blue team to get their try to get their first conversion of the game as well. So it's a good start for them. They got to make sure they stay alive now. And it looks like the blue team was actually doing really good things right now, but let's see if they can get this first extraction right now. Looks like it's two different blue team might be about to be three dead too. Uh -oh. And when you have the extraction, you probably want to get to one side of the map so that they're spawning on the other side. And it's pretty easy to look at the extraction from uh, two of the windows. And you can just bank nades in there very easily. And also, probably want a guy ring three that can just scope out the other side of the map. But would you would you let would you have a guy go up to ring three immediately as the game starts, or do you have him wait for the other extraction? Actually, when I play this with my team, I do like to go ring three because I can either look at the sniper. So usually, formal goes and looks at their sniper. He gets him one shot. I would finish him from ring three. And that would eliminate their sniper. And also, I can just look at whatever I want really from ring three. And if I'm getting shot at, all I have to do is back down. That's a that's a really good strategy. That's actually the strategy that snakes just use right now somebody chasing after him and then getting the kill later on after that. But right now it seems like blue team got the first extraction point but it seems to be a fight for B but the blue team actually grabs it. So let's go over to the billionaire real fast the blue team to see how things are going on that end. He's doing a good job of staying alive by the extraction now. He got the guy off of ring three. He might be able to push in for it soon. There's probably at least one more there. Yeah there's two there but there's a sticky that. It looked like he got he got his hand on the sticky there and gets a kill with the sticky. That's huge. I don't think he should go for this though. He should try yeah. to stay alive there. Yeah, he, he looked like he was trying to go for the uh, conversion there, but gets caught up. Yeah, they're gonna have to get that guy off ring three before they even think about going for this. They might just say screw it and go for C. Right, and now we're on board with Jay there. He gets his face waxed off. <laughs> My God, that was <laughs> you just got the kiss of death. Man, that is just unfair. I would be very angry if that was me. But it looks like the red team is going to go ahead and try looks to like get It's like whatever C. team we're on, the other team's going to get the extraction. I mean, pretty so. much. It looks like it's, it's going to be Tom Fullery the whole game. <laughs> He's doing a good job it. of getting rank 3 control there. It's going to be hard for blue team to push over and get that extraction. Well, we got Dillion there going after Snake Solstice. That's the guy I believe that people actually need to look out for because he's kind of a slithering kind of a guy. <laughs> you know, just waiting in the background trying to see... You know who he can pick off. He's up there with that was Drake, a great kill. Drake I mean, he dies the there, with sticky death, but he makes sure that blue team doesn't get control of ring three. Yep. He's probably gonna end up making this a two-one game here. Yep. Two one. It's, it's still right now two-one. It might look like it's gonna be two-one blue team, but blue team right now is trying to stay in this game. They actually want to stay around a little bit longer. He's trying as to stay hit him for the next attack. As, as we have a Drake fight, got him and out BR'd him. Wow. Yep. Drake out, out BR Dillionaire there. As, he, as they were fighting over the D extraction point there. See this team's fighting for ring three control. You just see how important it is. I mean, he's literally running in circles around ring three, making sure no one's going to kill him. It it's always a good spot to have a sniper because you get so many angles and lines of sight in there. So you would recommend that whoever goes to ring three to have the sniper at all times? I mean, no matter what, if you have ring three, it's always a power position, but having a sniper there is even more powerful, obviously. And as we are back on board with Snake Solstice, as his team is actually prepared themselves to get D. Let's see if they can get that and keep it on hold for the next 20 seconds or will it get converted back over to the blue looks team? Looks like they're trying to convert it. And it looks like it's getting converted. Will you have it converted in time? And he does. He does. Time. So looks like he was getting team. shot there. One of his teammates must have been helping him out, protecting yeah. him from that guy. Being able to take bullets for their guys. Yeah. Who's going to get the... Uh, looks wow. like Snake almost had the overshield, but he got yoinked. And also gets taken out in the process. Right. But both teams are there for overshield, so I mean, if they, I don't know if they have coaches, but they should both have a time about 10:53, so it should come up about 8:53. See if uh, where, which team prepares better for that. As we get Snake Snosis with the headshot, with revenge, get revenge on his on the last guy that killed him. So, and it looks like Red Team is going to reconvert it back. Will they get the conversion? And no, they like won't, it. unfortunately. See right here, he could probably take one of his ordinances, maybe the hard light shield, and just uh, have his teammate convert it. With two seconds left on the clock, and will he get the conversion? Oh, wow. 
Yeah, buddy, look clutch. at this. That is clutch. That was a clutch play right there. I'm surprised he still hasn't used his ordinance, though. He can either use a thruster pack, which I prefer sometimes if I'm trying to get into a battle and just put some shots on people something and then get away real quick. You know what? Something that I've seen with Snakes is that he's really been, he's actually been holding on to his ordinances. He doesn't really like to rely on using any of his ordinances. He, he usually seems to rely on more I think that's power just part of the uh, I mean, sometimes there's times where I just don't feel the need for an ordinance. I mean, it's always better to have it, but it's not ordinances like where it's a big power weapon where they're game changers. I do think on a map like this with a bunch of corners, a thruster would probably be good to help you stay alive longer. And I believe, like like you said earlier, the highlight shield might be a good idea too because you can, while you have a teammate converting right. or getting the extraction, you have somebody with a highlight defending that person there. So Hard light shield is really good in extraction, especially on Station 9 where you have those long alleys. And if you have your teammate extracting and you just have the hard light shield out, it's pretty hard for a team to just bank the nade off. So they'll bank the nade off the hard light shield and won't even hurt anyone. Alright, and now the game is actually tied 2-2. So right now with this game being tied 2-2, if you were in this game playing right now, what would you do to try to make sure your team gets the next the next one? Well, when you see that you're not gonna get the extraction that makes it 2-2, you gotta set up for the next one. Basically like anchoring in Call of Duty. But um, if you do get set up for the next one, you make sure you slay first. You can't just go right for it unless you're trying for like a sneaky arm, which is kind of rare against the top players. So right now, it looks like they're pretty much in control. They might want to get one or two more kills before they go for it. So and they should probably get ring three control too. So what would you, as, as far as like just you by yourself, and you know what you're, as you see what your other teammates right. are doing, what would you do? To I'd probably be the guy. Sure get that? Well, I would probably be the guy that's setting up for the new one early. And whether it be from uh, going right towards the extraction or setting up ring three so that I know the other team can't get it. Because sometimes just because you're not getting the extraction, it, it might be just as good to make sure the other team doesn't get it for a little while and then wait for your teammates to respawn or whatnot. And as we see right now, the red team actually just got the extraction started here. And we have Snake, Snake Sosa sitting up at ring yeah, three right is, now just picking off people right now. left and right. He's just putting shots into everybody right now. There's no way that they're going to have a chance to extract this. And they actually have two guys ring three. And See, he he's one shot. He wow. He Killing the three while right dropping up. down while trying to keep himself alive. That is a good play on his part. There's really nothing they can do if they have two guys ring three. So he's just picking off people. Yep. Double, getting he's doing doubles. Great right now. He's doing great right now sitting up at ring three as E is going to the red team. Red team going up 3-2. We have... A back down at ring one, and red team once again already has that extraction in order. So that was a decent play right there, just uh, distracting that guy from the guy that was extracting it, but he could have also stayed ring three and just called it out to a teammate. It wasn't like that guy was shooting at the guy that was extracting it. Now, if you see, now if you happen to see the other, the blue team going after this and you're playing with radioactive, what would you do as far as making sure they don't get it? If I was a team that had it right now, what would I do? Yeah. Um, well, you gotta extend these windows. That, like, save your nades for when they're extracting it. That's huge here. Because if you get in a certain spot, like if he goes right to that yellow pillar, he should be able to look right at the extraction. They won't be able to uh, get it if he has his nades. They're extracting it right now, but it looks like they have it under control. Yeah, but it looks like... It should be all of them dead. It looks like they're putting everything, everybody to sleep right now to get these extractions. As it's 4-2 radioactive right now. Quick turnaround from And they also nothing. just got B started as well. So yeah, a very quick turnaround starting from 2-0. So right now we have Sol Solstice ring three with the overshield right now. They're really not. Blue teams, I mean, they're trying to get them up ring three, but you need some help. You can't just rush them ring three and expect a melee battle to win. Because yeah, he seems he seems to be very, very aware of his surroundings, which is really, really good for his teammates. Great shots there, too. So he's, he's getting great shots in Not right only now, is he ring so. three, but he's putting in great shots. Like he's not missing. Very, being very, very accurate and being very, very patient at the and same right time. And right there, he doesn't need to challenge that guy. He just he needs to call him out, get him weak, and stay alive, ring three. Drops now, but it looks like the game's over. But so. It looks like the game's over right now, going over to Radioactive as they take the series three to zero. That was a great job by Solstice right there. But uh, it looks like the blue team was actually trying to put in a push at the very beginning of the game. It looked, I thought it was going to go to a game four. It looked like for a little bit there. Yep, so that's another 3-0, isn't it? So another 3-0 game right now. As we go ahead and take a look at the stats real fast. Yeah, Solstice had a great game. I mean, not that many assists, but he was listening to his teammates' calls from rank three and just finishing pretty much every kill. Yeah, we got Big Daddy J going 16 and 12. Snakes being the smart person going 21 and nine. 
uh, Drake going 11 and nine with 11 assists. So he's also calling out to his teammates. So putting in that good teamwork is what's is what's gonna, like I said before, is gonna help people in the ob right. objective game types here. So. But um, from what you just saw, what, what, what would you say could have been done differently for the blue team? What, what, what well, could have it looks they like they were just rushing one after one. I mean, they need to first off, they need to get the guy off of ring three and then push out from there. I mean, red team really did have a good setup. There wasn't much they can do, but you always want to get that guy off of ring three first and then establish some control. So 